Hey DJs, do you have an upcoming corporate event that you're getting ready for? Or are you looking into DJing more corporate events in general and you want to get a better feel of how it actually works and know the expectations out of a corporate event? In this video, I'll be sharing with you some behind the scenes and some tips on how to do exactly just that. I recently DJed a corporate event down at the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, and I'm excited to share with you some tips that could be very helpful for you the next time you DJ a corporate event. For those people who don't know me, I'm DJ Mojo. I specialize in weddings, but every now and then I do corporate events as well. And there's one video that I haven't really dive into in my YouTube channel is talking about corporate events in general. So what you're about to see is some footage of me walking you behind the scenes. Now, I get it. I was recording on the spot, so I may not get every detail across to you. And I'm sure there's so much information out there. If at any point you have any questions, drop it down in the comments below and I'll look forward to answer those questions soon. But anyhow, I'm super excited to share with you some of my thought process and things that I do when preparing for a corporate event and the logistics and actually doing a corporate event. So with that, stay tuned in this video and watch till the very end. I have something special to share with you. So whenever you do a hotel, any kind of event, weddings, corporate events, whenever you're DJing at a hotel, you want to make sure that you check in in security so, and then they will give you some kind of badge so that way they know who you are, you can identify yourself so you can go around the back of house and do your thing. You want to make sure you give yourself enough time to find where the loading dock is, check in with security, and then unload because it does take time from the moment you unload your gear to the actual room that you'll be. So my tip is just be here super early so you'll be ready for anything. Right now we're about to unload our gear. Um, everything's in my cargo van. I'm using my video DJ booth, my Toadmatic. I'm using my baseball speakers here today and we're gonna have a good time. So follow me. It really depends on the event. Corporate events, sometimes there's a sound system already provided and sometimes they rely on the DJ to provide all the sound gear. Uh, in this case, I'm the one in charge of bringing the sound and I decided to use my bass boss speakers, which these are amazing. They sound really good. Yeah, they're a bit pricey, but they are worth it. So uh, today I'm rocking my BB-15 and inside right there is my bass boss DV-12. I don't have a cover for my BB-15, I think it's okay. I still use the foam that it came with and just use that to protect it, but for my DV-12s, I got them all covered up. I use a company called Studio Slips. Shout out to my DJ friend, DJ Amo. He's the one who recommended me and it came with a really good cover here. And there's a little identifier at which I could put a uh, business card in so people know that this is my gear. And you have the ability to have different options of pockets. And I chose a back pocket right here to hold my power cables for it. I love this case. This is a DV12. This is heavy, by the way. This is a 63 pound, 12 inch speaker. And this is my sub right here. I brought two of each that we'll bring. And I'm gonna show you something really cool. This is gonna be my Gator Frameworks. So since my DV12 is a, is a heavy speaker top, these guys right here, this uses a powerful lift. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this more later, but I recommend if you do have a super heavy top, use one of these guys, but what it does is that once you open up the latch, it's automatically going to raise the speaker without much effort. So you can safely lift the speaker up above and uh, not struggle as much. So these are a bit pricey, these are worth the investment because hey, you know what, you wanna work smarter, not harder. Whenever you're DJing a corporate event or whatever, bring different kinds of outfits. I have this top jacket if I want to wear this so I can send out, I get to my black shirt or I have this black collar shirt and a uh, dark jacket on top. So we wanna look professional here. It really depends on the event, but you want to maybe have different options. And this guy right here are my Bass Boss SV9s. These are great speakers. These are the Mark IIs. And I got them with a custom covers from Undercovers. So they made this nice cover for my speakers to protect my investment. 
Uh, it comes with a business card holder right here and I include a, a pocket back here as well. Yeah, we'll set up right here. I'm thinking just having like a speaker to here to cover this side and one over here. So first of all, that was a great check-in. Uh, just before we get things started, it's nice to meet with the key people who are involved and that's what we did here. Just making sure that we're all set. So what's really important like for your setup is knowing the purpose of this event. And as you can see here, there's lots of vendors. This is like a trade show for a conference. And knowing I've done events like this before where you know what, the main goal is like, we wanna make sure that people can enjoy themselves but also still be able to hear themselves when they talk. I'm trying to be considerate of these companies, these booths, these vendors who are right next to me as a DJ. So if people are coming up here, I wanna make sure it's loud enough and not too loud where they can't talk. That was good, now it's time to set up our gear. Right now it's 4.47 p.m. We are almost done setting up. I am stationed here, got my baseball speakers up and I'm, I have power running through. I'm about to start my system. I have the, the video that the company sent me. They, not only did they hire me, but they also wanted to get my video DJ booth so I, I can display a graphic and they decided to send me a video that promotes this event, which is called Oasis. So I have it on front of my, my TV screen right here. And what's about to happen, I'm about to pull up my DJ software, which I use Serato. And there's an event happening right behind these air walls behind me. I'm not gonna blast the music. I'm just going to do a sound check just to make sure that sound is coming out through my speakers. Then I could always control the volume later. People will be coming in around six o'clock, but right before doors open, I'll be playing music around 550, 555. They're gonna let me know when to start playing music. And with my sound system, they're gonna hear the low end, the bass, and it's really to get them excited to walk into this showroom and, and really liven up the place. So I'm gonna do a sound check. I'm turning on my Serato DJ software, but everything's working great. I got my, my video up on my booth. I got my mixer going on, everything's plugged in. I also brought my recorder in case I want to record my mix so I could post it up online. And this is a great way to promote yourself to other corporate event planners, other corporate parties or people who are looking for a DJ who can cater to a crowd and, and knowing how to mix music and also set the vibe and set the tone. I'm going to test out some sound coming out through my speakers. And then once that's set, we're gonna clean things up. We're gonna raise the speaker up high, make sure it's above people's heads. We're gonna use some gaff tape. By the way, I love this gaff tape. There's many out there, but I like the one from NLFX Pro. So I'm gonna tape the cables down, clean things up, hide some cases, some bags underneath the table behind me. I'll be on standby and once the doors open, once they give me the cue, we'll be ready to go. So that's what's going on here. Hope you're enjoying this video so far. Like I mentioned earlier, people will be talking and I wanna make sure that my music is not blowing in their ears. I want the music to be well above their head. And what's really great about this speaker is that it has a very good long throw meaning that it, the audio will go far. So I'm going to point the speaker that way, just because of the room size, this is more on the longer side. So I'm gonna have the speaker mainly fo focusing on this side and my other speaker facing just straight ahead. What's really great about this speaker as well is that it has a 120 degree uh, wide dispersion. So it has more wide coverage and it has long throw. And it's lots of room for for volume in case you want to go loud. But see, this goes pretty high. It goes well above people's heads. I'll lock it in. I could turn it this way. There we go. And then later I'll clean up the cables and we're set. So what's really important before you raise this up is that you adjust the, the top volume. Make sure it's already at the, at the right volume that you want it to be at. When you're ever using a subwoofer, it's like it's, you need to find out that perfect balance between how, how high you want your tops to be versus the, the low end. Um, the subs is really good, but you have to find that mix where, I mean, personally, I like it, my setting on the top around the two o'clock position, paired with my subs at the, the 12 o'clock position for my subs, it, it really creates a nice balance where you can hear the low end, but still get that clarity. 
if I have it, if I have the tops at 12 o'clock, it sounds very muddy. I mean, don't get me wrong. It sounds amazing, like so like boomy. But the thing is, I'm more about the clarity as well. And so do my clients. So I adjusted my tops to be a little bit more past 12 o'clock at two o'clock position. And with that ratio with the low end, it sounds really great. So just one thing to note whenever using the baseball systems. What I'm doing right now is, is having a backup plan. Now, besides my Serato DJ software playing music, you have to ask yourself, okay, what if the music's down? What are you going to do next? So what I have with me is my iPad mini. I'm gonna have my Spotify app up. I already have a backup playlist in case something happens to my system, I need to do a reset or whatnot. With my laptop or my Serato DJ software, I'm gonna use my Spotify app to play some background music while I troubleshoot. But this is my contingency plan in case something happens. This is a Spotify playlist that I've already curated for this event, just, just something a little bit as a backup. I already have a cable already connected to my mixer, so I'm ready to go. In case I need to play some music in the background, I could just switch it on and I have music while I troubleshoot. And that's the thing about the corporate events is that they're, they're expecting you to be the professional, so you, you should know what you're doing and have backups. Like for example, I have another laptop with me in case something happens. So you just wanna become prepared. that I love bringing at my events is a monitor speaker. I usually have my monitor speaker that I place to my bottom left. This is the Bose S1 speaker and it acts right now as a wedge pointing up. And the reason why I have this is so I could hear my mixes clearly and hear it cleanly as well because my main speakers are pointing out Yes, I could hear the low end, but I really want to hear the clarity of the music that I'm playing out. Whatever comes out from my monitor, monitor is the same mix that's going out there to the audience, to the crowd. And when I make my transitions, I need to be able to hear all the frequencies that I'm playing. Do I have my, my bass too high? Is it bass too low? My video DJ booth. So I could easily sew it away and it's connected to my QSC Touch Mix 8 mixer. So I'm able to control what goes to my monitor as well. How was the video? Did you get some pointers? Did you get some tips from that? I know I didn't cover the entirety of the event because this was a trade show and I was being respectful of my environment and the people around me. But overall, this was a huge success and people enjoyed the music and it really depends on the right vibe and your role in that event. Whether you're starting a dance party, whether you're playing some background music to set the vibe. In this case, that was my role at this event. It's really important to have a clear understanding with your client to see how you can help them with their event. Now, since you've watched till the very end, now this is something I'm willing to share with you is all the questions that I ask my clients whenever I DJ a corporate event. If you're interested in the questions that I share with my clients, I'll leave it down in the link below so you can access them. Also, if you want to know the app that I send out to my clients to help them prepare the music and all the details, I use this app called Vibo. Vibo is an amazing app that not only do I use it for my wedding clients, I also use it for my corporate clients and it keeps all the details and organization in one place. If you're interested in checking out Vibo, I'll leave it down in the link below. So check it out in the description for the questions that I send out and the app that I actually use 
for corporate events. Well, I'm DJ Mojo. If you enjoy this video, give this video a thumbs up or a like or heart and leave it down in the comments anything else that you want me to talk about or share. And for those DJs who want to learn more about the wedding side of things and need some help in coaching with that, check out my website, WeddingDJMastery.com. Well, thank you so much for watching. But let me ask you, what if you don't do corporate events and you focus more on weddings? Then watch these videos here.